Vion's correspondent Jody Cohen continues to send us ground reports from Israel. In her latest, she interviews an IDF sergeant who prefers to remain anonymous for security reasons. We refer, you'll refer to him as Sergeant Y for the time being as he talks about his experiences in the Israeli Defense Forces on the first day of attack carried out by Hamas militant group. Take a listen to this. So I'm with Sergeant Y. I'm not able to give his full name for security reasons, but Sergeant Y, you were on the front lines when Hamas started its attack last Saturday. Can you describe to us where you were, what you saw, what happened? So I was uh, in Supa, which is south of the Gaza border. Um, around 6.30 a.m. we hear rockets landing all around our base, these big booms taking our, taking our rooms. Uh, from there we're called to protect, we're called to go outside and uh, get out here and go fight. Um, as we leave the front gate, we're ambushed by 12, uh, 10 to 12 terrorists. They open fire, shot RPGs at us through grenades, um, but we fought back. We managed to get a few of them and uh, they then decided that an entrance to the front gate won't be happening and they were uh, tried the back gate and uh, that was all. So, I understand that you were injured in battle. Can you tell us a bit about that and also if you expect to have to go back because we're hearing about a potential um, ground invasion from the Israel Defense Forces into Gaza? Yeah, so currently the only problematic part of my injury is in, the, in my leg. I have some shrapnel there which is uh, causing an infection. Um, once the infection is gone and uh, the wound is uh, healed, I'll be back there. Uh, I'm hoping to join my team as soon as I, as I possibly can. Um, hopefully before the ground invasion so I can take part in helping defend my country. How would you respond to critics concerned about the Israel Defense Forces tactics and also concerned about Gaza and civilian lives? Well, I mean, on one hand, you have the Hamas regime who have murdered and killed innocent Israeli civilians and on their own side are blocking them from reaching safety. And then on the other hand, you have the IDF who are trying to give them the chance to escape and find refuge down south of the Gaza border. and not being allowed to by their own people, the Hamas. 